Hey the guys, it's Bass Singer 3 and 3 here with a brand new Let's Play, and if you see this title screen right here, you know what it is. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! something something. Okay. Um, so, uh, I guess a little background history of me and my Yu-Gi-Oh! experience. I watched these two series, never really experienced any of the other rest of the things, though. Um, I don't know, I, it'll be an interesting experience once we get to those, but um, I'm planning to... Maybe if this takes off, um, this let's play takes off, then I could plan on doing all the um, entire series. But for now, I think I'm just going to um, sell down for Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe do some Yu-Gi-Oh! GX as well, and um, play some card games. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Um, so we're going to the campaign mode, and I guess this is a good re refresher to see you know what's up um, from what I've forgotten um, during Yu-Gi-Oh! So this is going to be a good refresher, because I did watch an anime show a long time ago. Uh, in... Inf... Nin, if Nate... Well, whatever. Um, the story of Yugi Moto begins at Domino High School, where dual monsters... I'm, I'm also assuming that they're using the, um, English version of the game and not the Japanese anime. I know I know there's, like, some differences, though, but I'm pretty sure um, they're limiting it to region or something. Anyways. The hottest card... <laughs> the hottest card game in the world, that is until the Pokemon trading card game releases, was all the rage. Yugi was uh, was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So our history of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of duel monsters to Joey as their friends T and Tristan watch. Hey Joe! Holy oh, shit! I remember all these guys. Oh shit! Tristan's the one that has this really funny voice or something, right? That right? I don't know. I've watched the um, a British show, so I don't know if he actually talks like that in the actual anime. Hey Joey! Earth to Joey, it's your turn! Oh fuck, how do I do a British- uh, Not a British accent, a, a fucking Brooklyn accent. Um... No, oh, isn't he cute when he's thinking? <laughs> uh, I sound like Barney the fucking dinosaur or something. Eh, hey, Tristan! Yuki's here teaching me how to play the duel monsters! Oh my god, they even subtitled the Brooklyn, the Brooklyn accent as well. Drooling monsters? Duel monsters, ya Nimrod! Uh, I don't fucking know her voice. Um, hey, I guess I could try and mimic the uh, what the Brit, what little Karibo tries to mimic. Hey, hey, I know like T. Um, she sounds like a very like oldish woman or something. They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. Okay, Yugi, it's time to duel. All right, I'm also um. For every single round, I because I I played this game slightly from um my friend's place, but about other than that, um I'm probably gonna be bl mostly blind to this let's play. Um, I know how to play, so the fact that they're gonna <laughs> give me a tutorial is gonna be uh whatever. Greetings, duelist. I am I N Four Mate, part of the virtual video ga vi virtual game simulator. I have been programmed to teach you properly dueling rules and blah 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 blah. Okay, duel. First off, you draw five cards. Um. Okay, not bad. I'm kind of wishing that I could set up for, for more trap cards or something. First, I learned. Okay, so yeah, let's, I'm just gonna skip this. I'm gonna fuck the uh, tutorial because I'm gonna tell you guys how to play this game for those who have yet to experience it. So I guess I'm going first. So you have to draw a card first off. But I guess they're telling us to do some monster. I'm guessing this is Joey Wheeler's turn or something. Um, never mind, dude. I, I draw. You forgot to draw a card, Yugi. This is the first turn. You forgot to draw a card. Okay, whatever. Select the monster and select dragon. Oh, come on. I had to select him. All right, fine. I'll tell what you say, tutorial. So I could either summon or set him. When I set him, I put him into de defense position. When I summon him, I put him into attack position. So the game is telling me to put him into attack, attack position. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, select. Oh, wait. No, dragon. What? Wait. Select the dr select dragon. Oh, oh, wait. Never mind. He's telling me to set. Okay. So I guess put him into the defense position. Now, let's open to the phase menu and end, fa end phase. Press the circle button. You could also press the right trigger, by the way, so you don't have to, whatever. But, um, yeah, I played this a little bit, but I'm probably going to be brand new to the entire experience. Because I haven't played all of it. So that's sending him into position decision. What Joey's doing right now is attacking. And because his attack point is lower than my defense points, he gets damaged. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, just look up a tutorial. Why are you guys watching up this Let's Play for to tell you how the fuck to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, congratulations, you survived your first attack. You might have noticed that Joey attacked- Okay, yeah, shut up, I just explained that. Thank you very much. If the attack- Yeah, okay. 
Next, we will learn to spell trap, spell and trap cards. These cards are played in the spell and trap zone. So the you notice that there are five cards per particular, like five on top, five on the bottom. The top parts are for your monsters. The bottom parts are for your spells and trap cards. Um, you can only activate trap cards, I believe, when you activate some sort of special ability or when you're during. Like I, I know you can't activate. You can only activate ma a spell cards during your main phase or something. While trap cards, you, have, you can activate them during your opponent's turn or when you do some sort of action of some sort. I don't remember. It's yeah, I, I, That's the basic gist of Yu-Gi-Oh! for there when it comes to spell and, uh, spell and trap cards. Um, there, are, uh, there are also some other spell cards such as field spells and um, uh, quick play spells. I'm not going to dive into that and just, yeah, you, get, you guys just research that on your own. Anyway, so green card spells are played right away. Can be played right away, but most of them only play during your main phase. And Yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm basically... I can activate that if I want to. So all your monsters you control gain 200 attack points during your battle phase only. Okay. And it says my battle phase only. So really, each spell and trap card has a special effect. Read the special effects and yeah, th that's what they do. Pink trap cards can be activated. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And select call the haunted. Set. You, yeah, you cannot activate your trap card unless it's your opponent's turn or whatever. There are certain trap cards where you can actually play or whatever, but yeah. Um... Uh, now let's switch to the dragon dwelling in the cave into a p attack position. Okay, and during your um during your main phase, you can set your monsters to attack or defense position if you choose to do so. And you can also summon your so this doesn't count as a summon. So when it comes to summons, you can only summon one monster per turn unless it's a special summon. I'll get to special summons if we could do that somehow. But for now, um oh Nink Dog, okay, and I will summon that instead. So I believe that uh, Bla Blazing Impachi has 1850. Hold on, let me check. Yes, it has 1850. So none of my um, monsters could defeat that, except we spell we put this uh, spell card. So during our battle phase, we can easily kill that. So let's go to our battle phase right now. Use our dog to kill. Yes, I know how to play the goddamn game. Thanks, thanks for telling me. <laughs> I should have gone to the options menu. Maybe they'll disable the tutorial or something. If an opponent does not have any monsters, you can attack them directly. Notice how there are life points for each um, individual character. I'm Yugi Moto right now, and my opponent is Joey Wheeler, of course. And they both have life points. Life points are perpendicular, so yeah. Notice how um, by killing that monster, he loses life points because that's I have a higher attack points, and because it's 200 and that thing's uh, 1850, he loses the uh, exact amount to my attack points minus his attack points. And because there's nothing here, I can attack him directly. He gains all the full blow. Alright, let's end this turn. So yeah. Explaining things is fun! <laughs> uh, I don't know, okay, so... Draw phase. He sets the monster face down. Now, this could be anything. This could be... Now, I'm gonna... Notice... Uh, okay, so I'm gonna... Joey doesn't stand a chance. Let's clean this clock. Now, that's not the mentality you should have, by the way. On this turn... We will summon another monster. Up until now, you have only used monsters. Okay. Monsters level 4 or below. So yeah, um, I guess they're going to talk about tributing now. But before we do that, um, notice how um, these monster cards are kind of like a yellowish tint. While these ones are more like darkish orange. Notice that the, um, those with um, darkish orange tints are special effect monsters. Anything that has this normal thing, they're just normal monsters, they don't have special effects whatsoever. These ones have special effects, so in this special effect term, uh, Gravity Crush Dragon, you can send one face up continuous spell card. Wait, hold on. You can send one face up continuous spell card you control to the graveyard, then select one monster you. Oh, okay, okay, so yeah, that's gonna negate because this thing could be like man eating bug, if you guys know that, and that could destroy my, my monster or something. But with this special effect, I could easily just discard this one. And that guy's gonna die. Although this one is pretty good too. Though. It um, basically the same thing as this one, except it's permanent unless um, uh, someone destroys the spell card suddenly. But uh, yeah, let's uh, summon. And because it's level six, we could we have to tribute a monster. When it's when a monster is level five or level six, you have to tri tribute one monster. When it's level seven or above, you have to tribute two. When it's I don't know I don't know the specific monster uh, specific level of that. You have to do what your tribute, tribute three. I never actually tried that before, but yeah, you must tribute a monster. Um, you must tribute one monster in order to. Okay, yeah. Um, so apparently I'm supposed to select this one. Uh, how much power is this one? Personally, I would probably select the dragon instead, but I guess the game. So 
besides all right i'll tribute this guy because he has more attack nindog has more attack power so i figured Ooh, if you read the cards especially yeah i i get okay so um select gravity dragon and activate the special effect discard the pig oh wait hold on what select the card to set to the oh or we could do that as well and select one card to the okay. so let's do that now let's chain the effect of call of the haunted and bring oh okay so that's also smart too because i forgot i had call of the haunted into the field so i could activate that and bring nindog back now of course if uh that's my only option of course if um you can also chain into another effect but uh that's basically mm, just means you send another monster or whatever um, select a monster to attack. I could select anything. Let's try this guy because he's pretty weak right now. So I'm going to activate his special effect. And yeah. Alright, so we're all amped up and powered up. Let's uh, do this shit. So he has nothing. Everything right now is just a free blow right now. So attack directly here. Attack directly here. Is this going to kill him? This get kill? Yeah, this is good. This is gonna kill. Joey isn't going to be too happy about this. One more attack and we'll totally wipe him. So, out of curiosity, what is that? Oh, well, too late. <laughs> I was checking what that card was, but it looks like it's a normal monster, so it doesn't really matter if even if we do kill him or not, because he might have something else. I mean, he'll survive for one tour. Maybe he'll whatever. Okay. What? A card that powerful? Uh, what? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Fuck it. I'm giving him a surfer accent instead. Woo, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I just have better cards and better skill. My grandpa owns a game, uh, game shop, and I get all my best cards from him. Your own game shop? What are you waiting for? Let's go! Yeah, I have a terrible Brooklyn accent. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us this super rare card he got. Oh, did they know that someone was... Little did they know that someone was listening into their conversation. Someone was looking for a very rare card to add into their collection. Uh, continue. I'm guessing these... Okay, new duelist and a new deck. I got a Joey deck! Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna really want... I don't care. The card award! Try it out! I don't care. <laughs> so that was the first battle. So stay tuned for the next battle. And I'm assuming this is Kaiba and we're playing as... Yami Yugi is time and not Yugi Moto. Um, before we do that, though, we should really check out the options menu. Uh, how to play tutorial controls. That's not really showing me options, that's just showing me. Okay, there's really not. So, it, there's no way for me to learn how. If I want to know how to. Okay, whatever. I guess there's really no way to disable the tour. I'm guessing it's just only for that one match right there because I already know how to play. But, uh. What? Holy shit, we're already 2% complete. Oh, this is going to be really fast. Alright, stay tuned for the next episode, and we'll be fighting against Kaiba, I'm guessing. So stay tuned for that. Heart of the Cards! Oh my god, I love that title already. Alright, we're back. Let's uh, start this. This afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his Grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your awesome super rare card? Uh, was he like attention do no it's not, no it's not that is he I know he had like the same voice as that from what I'm trying to remember and he had like a really weird fetish with blackluster soldier or something uh, whatever I'll I'll that'll be his place order of voice for now rare cards you mean my special card hmm please please ha ha how can I refuse you kids are in for a treat I don't take this card out too often ready here it is the blue eyes white dragon so rare so powerful i never leave it i never let it leave my hands little did they know once they get to Yu-Gi-Oh gx that card's going to be obsolete this card is priceless there is only i'm assuming like as the season go on the cards get better and better and more overpowered and the original deck is like garbage or something that's what i'm guessing so far i don't know um this card is priceless there is only 4 of them in all the wait only 4 not in our, not in our uh, realm of reality, of course. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, a young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found... Wait, what the fuck is he doing in the high school? <laughs> or the same high school that Yugi's attending. Shouldn't he be like in some sort of private if he's so goddamn rich? Name your price for... 
<laughs> Fuck, I can't do like a really low voice. Name your price for the blue eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Senile old fool. Kaiba, that was a very quick scene. I want the card. No! Darn it. <laughs> Alright, Kaiba stormed out of the grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with Blue Eyes White Dragon. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone when the phone rang. Okay, this is just basically skimming through the entire episode because I definitely remember this from the ever first ever episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, when the phone ra rang, it was Kaiba on the other hand, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp, which is illegal. Someone called the fucking cops. <laughs> Whatever. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa lying on the floor, defeated. And fainted. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa? How old is this man feeling, hmm? Kaiba, you sleaze, what have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all. With each of us putting up our, our most valuable cards as the prize. But I guess playing against a champion like myself was too much for stimulating- too much stimulation for the old- Kaiba, you should be a sh- wait no, that's- that's Serenity, fuck. What's- what's T's name again? God damn it! Also, why the fuck do you have an accent? Is it Taya instead of T? Whatever, I like T better. I don't know why. Um, whatever. Serenity, place over there. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself! Uh, look at the sweet prize I won! <laughs> Uh, Kaiba held up gra Grandpa's- I like how his face kind of matches that kind of like a fanboyish type of thing rather than being threatening. Um, Kaiba held up Grandpa's blue eyes white dragon and ripped it in half. Grandpa's most treasured car, dude, if there's only four- I know you're rich as fuck, but you know you could be even more rich as fuck, right? Blue eyes white dragon's a rare and powerful card, and this one will never be used against me. My blue eyes white dragon, my treasure! I fucking know what the voice I'm doing. Grandpa, hold on. This would be a lot more easier if these guys would actually voice act instead. But no. I get to do all the fucking work. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh? Grandpa? I built this deck. I put my soul in these cards. And I taught you everything I know, Yugi. Take my cards and teach Kaiba respect for the, respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa. I'll do it. Are you ready to play, Runt? Playtime's over, Kaiba! Huh? Kaiba was taken aback by y uh, Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed he had become a more different person, as if he was more confident. So, I, I don't think this the show never really explained, at least, uh, easily, as to why um, Yugi has two different personalities. Let's just say magic and roll with it. Kaiba, prepare yourself because it's time! To do, 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 do. Okay, so you have an option to choose you use your own deck or the story decks. For the sake of this let's play, I'm just gonna use whatever the game's gonna give me with what I've worked with. Hey, we're not gonna get into that show until DX, dude. Stop spoiling, game. Alright. Um and in order to decide whether you not go first or second, we play rock, paper, scissors. Uh I'm gonna go with rock. Okay, so I win. So I get to choose between going first or going second. Um, for my personal preference, and this could be for anyone though, you can do whatever you want, but personally, I will most likely always go second, because I'm just like that. I always like to attack the enemy before, because I like to get a sense of what the enemy is going to do before I make my move. If I try to prepare ahead of time, they could backfire into me. Um, okay, so I have left arm, or is that right arm? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so one, tr one possible trap card, one face down card, and one monster card. Alright. I have Source of Revealing Light, so I could activate that to reveal what monster that is. So, but at the same time, he could have like something like Magic Jam or something. Oh, then again, why would he use that that early? He should probably use that. Also, what is this? Destroy all monster your opponent controls. I'm gonna wait that until... I'm gonna... I'm not gonna use that right now. Plus, if you have a Heavy Storm, I'm not gonna set that either. I'm gonna use Source of Revealing Light. I know in the anime show, they always like explain... Now, I will activate Swords of Revealing Light! This car does this and this, and they always fucking- That's one thing I really didn't like when we were watching all the Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes. I know what they do. Stop asking. Just do it and- Yeah, whatever. Um, oh shit, that's a really powerful defense. Alright. 
So do I have any monsters that can attack that? This one has 1,000. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, add one monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. Okay, so I could set this to defense position. And once it does that, I could search for a deck. It's basically a deck searcher. Um, this one has very powerful attack. So I could trick him. That's the one thing I really like about Yu-Gi-Oh. You could basically just try and do anything and try to like strategize about the many things you could do but at the same time you have to get into your opponent's head see what your opponent is doing and because everyone has so much face and that's really what i like about card games in general because there's so much fun to do so much fun to just strategize and see what you can uh make of it um so i could either i'm i'm not gonna put anything in attack position because obviously i can't attack that guy because of his uh, powerful uh, defense. What does this do okay, exactly? If this card is attacked by a monster, after damage calculation, return that monster to the hand. So it's probably smart for me to not attack it with like a tribute monster or something and attack it with like, I don't know, level 1 or something. Or someone with like very low attack priorities. Or whatever. Um. So I have a chance. I'm assuming that he might, I don't know, have polymerization or something like that. And gather his three great blue eyes white dragon. So, I'm probably gonna set this one before ahead of time. And that will be it. I really have no other option, so let's just end there. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some guys that are just gonna constantly rat on me for Pot of Greed. So, Pot of Greed just draws two cards. Special Summon Monster. Oh, fuck me. Alright, so that's. End phase? What? Wait, you're not gonna even attack? Okay. Alright, so now he has that. Oh, I have Steel Snatch. That's really good, actually. Not only that, but that could negate that person because that thing is going to go back to... Wait a fucking man! You're level 6 and you only have 2,000... What the fuck? What kind of monster are you? In fact, fuck off. I'm going to actually... Act... Yeah, he has, he has nothing. So I could actually attack him now, right? Or should I do this? I have an idea, actually. I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna build up my defense. I'm actually gonna def build up my defenses. What does Karibu do again? I remember what Wing Karibu do, does, but I never remember what fucking Karibu does at all. During your opponent's turn, at, at, you can discard this card. You take no. Okay, so it's basically the exact same as Wing Karibu, except you discard this card instead. Alright. Um, I will set this one. And I have a feeling he might tribute those two monsters or something. For Blue Eyes White Jack. At least that's what I'm assuming. So I don't want him to build up his uh, offensive right now. So let's act not only that, but he has no trap cards at the field. So let's activate Rengeki. Perfect. And I guess that'll be it for my turn. I can't really attack. I guess I could always attack with those two, but I want to really build up my defenses before I could do so. Not only that, but I could probably want to like... Alright, end phase. You're not attacking, so... I'm guessing you're scared of attacking me or some shit? Alright, what does this do? Um, poor defender. Alright, how much power does this guy have? 1,700. I guess I could build up my defenses again. I'm playing awfully uh, conservative here, but at the same time, Seto Kaiba is not really doing much to do anything. Like, I think he knows what I'm doing. But for some reason, he's not doing anything. Okay. That, I'm gonna be worried. Whatever that card is. Oh, no! He can't- Oh, fuck! I keep forgetting. Fucking- uh, Oh, really? That's it? <laughs> I keep forgetting. That's why he can't attack. Because of fucking Swords of Revealing Light. How the fuck did I forget that? Alright, um... What is this again? Sent to the field to the graveyard. Okay. So, it doesn't even have to be in from battle damage, then. I could... Alright, so let's tribute him. Wait, hold on. Yeah, he has the lowest attack point, so why the fuck not? Summon. You tribute one monster in order to... Yeah. And I'm gonna use this guy. Activate this special effect. Can I? Or did I fuck up? No, I did. Okay. And, uh... What should I do? Do I have Dark Magician yet? Do I really have only one copy of each? Yeah, I'm not gonna go for that strategy at all. I really don't like that at all. Especially if I only have one per deck? Fuck no. I'm going for the... Oh yeah, so... Out of all the cards, I could do this again and... 
Oh, whatever, but, um... Actually, that could be interesting. That could be, like, my last result, just resort just in case I somehow lose. This guy has fucking 10,000 HP already. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's try, um... Let's try doing this, uh, method. Alright, so he knows my strategy now and what I'm gonna do. Alright then. Um... I could... You steal Snatch to steal his card. Let's do this, actually. I'll flip someone this guy. And I'll flip someone this guy. And then, I'll activate Steel Snatch and take control of your battle ox. So I, now I have all these cards in my hand. I, I'm eventually going to tribute that, eventually. Of course. So, battle phase. Now it's time to attack. He's going to be eating over so much damage. Alright, direct attack. Direct attack. Of course, by the end of his- by the end of my turn, he's gonna gain 1,000. But that's fine, because I obliterated half of his life, life points right there. Alright, that's good. That's good. And that'll be it for today. Or, for this turn. Not today. That's fine, I'm- mm, Yeah, I'm gonna only- really? That's just one card? Not even a trap card or whatever? What the fuck's in your hand? Okay. Well, I guess fuck the uh, Exodius method. I'm just gonna go full out. Alright then. Battle phase. Um. Let's try summon skull. 500. Yeah, I could I could have gone all out, whatever. Whatever. I think this is good enough if I'm doing my math correctly. He's gonna die. That. If not, very weak. No, yeah, he's definitely gonna die. <laughs> You know, give me a challenge, Kai, but I'm gonna end my turn there, see what the fuck you have, and you'll gain a thousand life points later on, but whatever. I want you to I want to see what the fuck you're gonna do. Main phase, end phase, really nothing? Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay, fine. Fine. Be like that, bitch. Alright, activate this card by targeting one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change its battle position when the monster is- okay. So, I guess pour salt and more wounds. <laughs> I want to see how long it can go with this. I want to see how long this can happen. I'm healing him, whatever. I don't care. Special summon. Alright. Alright. Alright, so that's how much. Okay, so I think I definitely know what he's going to do. Uh, what's this do again? Activate this card by targeting one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change your position. Alright! <laughs> I got you on the pump. I, what if I select my own? No, I, I, it specifically says opponent target, so... And that's only, um, alright. I don't like that card. No, that but It's not enough to defeat my summon skull. So I don't know what the fuck you're doing there. Also, hey, Dark Magician, what's up? Alright, let's... Fuck it, let's just go. Let's just go all out. Um, fuck your battle ox, and uh, fuck this guy, whatever. So, um, Snatch Deal is gone. I have Dark Magician on the field. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, battle. Whatever the fuck that thing is. Oh shit, it's actually- Oh shit, Trap Master! What does that do? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you regardless. Yeah, this is getting boring, so let's- Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Oh! Hey, animation. Look at those PS4 graphics! <laughs> wow, those look shitty. Um... You know, I'm gonna play one more turn. I'm gonna go one more turn just to see what's up. Just to see what's up. Come on, dude. Bring it. If you have Blue Eyes White Dragon, I'm up for the challenge. Come on. Bring it. No? Nothing? Well, fuck you too then, bitch. Alright. 300. During the draw phase, when you draw a Nora monster, you can reveal it. Draw one more card. Cool. Um, so I'm guessing this is an ongoing spell, then. Uh, I summon Karibo in attack position. Please do something. Otherwise, you're gonna get a furry face of death if you don't do anything. Main phase? And come on. Come the fuck on, really? Alright. Yeah, sure, why not? I, I got a monster. I got a mystical elf! Activate the... Oh, 
What's the heart of the underdog do? Oh, okay. Oh shit, this is okay. Oh, oh fuck. Oh fuck. I am so gonna win. I am so sorry, Seto Kaiba, but you suck ass. Weren't you, weren't you originally very challenging in the actual anime? I don't know what how how was that all coming from that anime? Well, it's one one thing for damn sure. I'm not I'm no longer able to. I'm oh shit, a trap card. Why not? Let me draw another one. Sure, why not? Okay, dark. <laughs> I could destroy all my monsters on the field if I wish. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Let's just set it. I'm not gonna activate it, of course. I'm not a goddamn idiot. Um, so I have Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Uh, how much stars is that? That's seven stars, so I could tribute two. Let's do that. Actually, yeah. So, um, you and you, why not? I have just beasts on my field right now. You shall fear me, Seto Kaiba. Although, then again, that could be like a mirror. Fucked if I actually do that. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be my final attack phase. If you don't do anything with that trap card, you're done, Seto. Three, two, one. Nick it. That's it? <laughs> Just need it? Not even mirror force? You got. Fuck you, dude! You're done! Next turn, you're done! That, unless I could probably do the Exodius thing. Actually, I should want to see the- I want to do the Exodius thing, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, fuck it, let's do Exodius! Let's do the Exodius tactic. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because why the fuck not? I got one, two, three pieces. Uh, and I got Graceful Charity, so let's activate that special effect, too. Basically, you draw three cards, and I got Bot of Green, too, so fuck yeah! Alright. I'll discard these two. And I got just one more piece to go, dude. Just one more piece to go. Oh, fuck. Oh, I know. Oh, of course I had to somehow. All right, let's set that. Of course, he has to somehow, like, kill it. Which I can do with Dark Hole. Bitches, I win. I win. I motherfucking win! What up? What the fuck up? Five pieces of Exodius, bitches! <laughs> oh, yeah! God, I always wanted to do that. Of course, I wish I hadn't done that by because of your stupid ass, Kaiba. <laughs> Whatever. You only play for power, Kaiba. Well, I kind of did that too, you know, that Yuki. That is why you lost. No, you lost because you're a fucking idiot, guy, Kaiba. Now you have just had, like, the worst luck ever. I don't know. I don't know why your blue eyes white dragon wasn't working or whatever. I'm guessing that um, spell or trap card that you activated only activates with level six or something. But wow, you suck, dude. Also, not only that, but didn't like the first episodes or ever, like they just summon <laughs> without the need of tribute or something. I don't know. I remember like old school Yu-Gi-Oh was like really jank or something like that. Whatever. But if you put your heart into the game, there's nothing you can't do. The results of the duel spread quickly. <laughs> This humiliating, fucking, perfect defeat. A mysterious one-eyed man gets news of Yugi's victory. Uh, what's this guy's voice again? Hmm, I see. Kaima Boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yugi Moto. Fuck, I don't remember what his, his fucking... I remember he's like very flamboyant or something from what I'm remembering. But that's all I think I remember. I don't know. Okay, whatever. So that was that. Um, next time we battle this... Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> uh, it's been forever since I last watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I can only recall like awesome moments or memorable moments from when I was watching it as a kid. I've When I was preparing to uh, play this game, I've only watched like the first couple of episodes for, from, from both GX and Yu-Gi-Oh. But I don't... But I didn't watch the entire season, so, um, of course, I'm gonna be stuck for some places. I think I know who he is. He's, like, that really glasses-looking nerdy kid or something that's <laughs> kind of like a Beavis and Butthead voice or something from the Average series. I'm not sure if it's the same thing from the Average show, but whatever. Next battle, the ultimate Great Moth. Stay tuned for the next episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Whatever the fuck this game's called. What is this game called again? Legacy of the Duelist. So stay tuned for that.